Greetings! In today's video, we'll be looking more closely at some of Pro Arte's synthetic brushes. I have brushes from their Polar range and from their Proline Plus range. Since I have a duplicate set of the Polar ones, I'll set those extra brushes aside. Both Polar and Proline Plus brushes have synthetic hairs. The Polar range features white nylon bristles and the white handle with black writing on it. The ferrule is silver colored. It's available in rounds, flats and fan tips, though here I have two flats, a half inch and three eighths of an inch, and four rounds, sizes 2, 4, 6, and 8. They are meant to be all-purpose brushes. The Proline Plus range is defined as the flagship of the Proline collection. The synthetic filaments are a shade of warm brown at the ferrule and they darken at the tip. The ferrule is gold-colored and the handles are made of varnish teak wood. They are meant to be used mostly for watercolor and gouache. Concerning the tactile and snap tests for the two kinds of brushes, I can say that the Proline Plus are softer than the Polar, but both spring nicely back into shape, at least when I test them dry. I'll proceed to demonstrate the type of brush lines that can be made with each brush I have. I use a wash of Holbein's neutral tint for the tests. I'm not exactly sure if there's a way to do these tests, but basically the brushes behaved exactly like you'd expect good synthetic to do. The polar bristles hold less water than the Proline Plus, as I'd expect from a good standard synthetic nylon brush. The Proline Plus is also synthetic, but it has high quality filaments that mimic natural hair a bit better. That lets them hold onto more water than the polar brushes. I'm not sure what to say about the brushes, because I don't really have a plan when I choose a brush. Usually I really go with the feeling, so sometimes I may try anywhere between two and six brushes before I find one that feels right for what I want to do or how I feel that day. So I'm, I'm not really sure what kind of... <laughs> what kind of information you'd expect me to provide at this point, but um, if you have any questions regarding the brushes, feel free to ask, and I hope that by making those line tests, it can help provide a bit more of info regarding the way these brushes work and the kind of line they can do. I really like the fact that I can use flat brushes to make grasses or little lines to make texture or work differently with the color just by stamping the tip of the brush down on the paper. 
it's kind of a really nice way to make something more simple or to make complex shapes much simpler. Something of note, in proportion to the polar brushes, the bristles of the Proline Plus brushes when it comes to the flats, they are much longer than the bristles of the flat polar brushes. I don't have any equivalent sizes, but if you look at the proportion of the width and the length of the bristles, it feels like the Proline Plus are really much longer. So perhaps that can explain also why they hold more water than the polar brushes. For my demonstration, I used a, a simple but moody photo from Pinterest as reference. I sketched the simple shapes and moved straight to painting. I'll be doing this one in simple grayscale, using chrome black from Winsor Newton and white gouache by M. Graham. I've been making a lot of studies like this one, as part of the class I'm currently taking over at schoolism.com. I'll put infos and links related to the class in the description box in case you're curious about it. With only one color, it's easier to build an image in layers and adjust the contrast of an element. At the moment, my go-to brush is one of the Polar flat brushes. I love how expressive flat brushes can be, and also how versatile. It's very easy to cover larger areas with the white side, but if you turn it the other way, it can make really fine lines. The corner of the flat brush can be used for details. I'll come back with the white gouache and a round polar brush to make the final details, the little flowers in the grass. As I'll show shortly, the polar brush worked perfectly to pick up the spots of black paint that I made outside of the tape. 
Since this is cellulose paper and that the chrome black is not much of a staining color, I can remove almost all of it by gently scrubbing with a wet brush and dabbing it off with paper tissue or a paper towel. I'm not exactly new to Pro Arte's Polar brushes and I like them a lot. They are solid, springy synthetics that, so far, have always worked for me. The Proline Plus range is newer to me, but I'm eager to see how their softer bristles will play in the way I like to paint. So tell me, what do you prefer? Synthetics? Natural hair? Tell me in the comments below! Thank you for watching and have a great day, bye bye!